Chester's mandrill monkeys live in a unique group. They're currently ruled over by an imposing dominant female, 14-year-old Mosey. Mosey has an aura about her, and she does have this swagger. No one messes with Mosey. <laughs> and all nine of Mosey's charges are female. Yeah, she knows she's in charge. <laughs> Mandrills live in the rainforests of West Africa. More usually, a troop would be led by a dominant male. But Chester's impressively colourful leader, JC, died nearly two years ago. I miss him. I really miss him. He's such a massive presence to lose. Not seeing him either head bobbing or smiling at you. Yeah. It's horrible. Um... Over the past 12 months, Mosey has stepped in as leader and kept the all-female troop united. I thought that it might really suffer without him, but fortunately we have Mosey. She seems to have taken on the role of dominant male and dominant female. Hello, ladies. Hi, girls. And as the alpha monkey, Mosey has also developed an imposing physical presence. With Mosey's position, she will get the more calorific and better food, but, I mean, she's, it's not like she doesn't move or anything. <laughs> You'll see her darting around and jumping around. Uh, she's just... she's stocky. She's big bones. <laughs> but there's one role Mosey can't help with, and that's breeding. Hey, Sophia! Look at the size of your bum! When a female's rump turns red, she's in season. No, we've noticed um, with Sophia when she's got a swell and it's like, she becomes like a bit of a, a girl magnet. We're just following her around for like days. Initially, it has kind of worn off a bit now. They don't follow her around as much. The group but... is on the turn, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say we need a male in here quickly. <laughs> They're all like, oh. <laughs> The zoo has tracked down a new male mandrill in a zoo in Austria, and he'll be introduced to the troop tomorrow. It's an important day for Mosey and her female troop of mandrills. The new male, Kamau, is about to join them. So this morning, we are going to mix the new mandrill, Kamau, with our group of girls. So it's very exciting, quite nerve-wracking. It's been a long time since we've done anything like this, so... Yeah, exciting, but God knows what's going to happen. The keepers gather to watch. Kamau tentatively crosses the threshold. It must be so weird. You won't know how to react. You know, you won't know how to behave with this many mandrels. He's, you know, we won't have been around this many mandrels before, so hopefully they'll figure it out. <laughs> Kamau must first impress dominant female Mosey if he's to stand a chance of being accepted by the rest of the group. He's going up to Mosey. Oh, that's right. And held onto her tail. And she smiled at him and he smiled back, so that's good. That's a friendly gesture when they smile like that to each other. And that's good, getting on the side of the dominant female. Clever boy. <laughs> he's, he's following Mosey round. It's all about the curvy chicks. <laughs> She's definitely playing hard to get. She's so sassy. <laughs> Mosey sizes Kamau up. I wouldn't like to say it's through any danger period yet. It'll take time, but that's fine as long as there's no sort of injuries or anything like that. Then. 
but for a newcomer, Kamau's behavior is overconfident. Moses' mob rallies to her defense. You wouldn't want them all at you, would you? Yeah, it must have been terrifying. In the Mandrill house, young male Kamau is keeping his head down after his scuffle with dominant female, Mosey. He's had a few patches of hair pulled out from him. He's got a few little scratches. Fortunately, the girl's teeth are nowhere near as big as, as the boy's. But yeah, he looks a bit worse for wear at the minute. As first dates go, it's not quite what he had in mind. Mosey was a funny one, really, because she was kind of present to him. Um, so she would, you know, she would sort of put a bum near him um, as if to say, you know, OK, I know you're in charge. But then as soon as he got near her, she panicked. And then the whole group turns on him because they're protecting her. Kamau needs to prove himself to become dominant within the troop. The trouble is, Mosey is still firmly in charge. Seen her sort of displaying around the enclosure a little bit. Nothing nasty, but she's just sort of being assertive and being like, this is my, my yard. He'll need all his wit and his charm to win the group's trust. Oh, you such a smiler. In the Mandrill house, new boy Kamau is doing his best to win over Mosey, but it's not been easy. I think the problem is because he doesn't have all these bright colours and he's not a big bulky boy yet. Maybe he doesn't have the respect of the girls. But I think as soon as he starts getting those colours, um, you know, his testosterone kicks in, I think that will change. But it can take many months to develop the rich blue and red facial colours that signify dominance. In the meantime, Kamau's going to have to come up with a new strategy. It's been a month since new boy Kamau joined the all-female Mandrill group. So far, it's been a rough ride. But at last, there's been a ceasefire. Things with the Mandrills do seem to be calming down. Kamau seems to be settling in a bit more. I mean, he's still quite nervous. You can tell he's, you know, he's quite intimidated by the girls. Mosey seems to be more tolerant of him now, which is a relief, because she's the one we need to get on side, mostly. He's approaching her with caution now. I think he has a healthy respect for her, which is probably pretty wise. <laughs>